What is up guys, it's your boy Alex here. You probably can tell this is a new freaking setup because I actually moved my whole computer setup and desk in a different room. But in a later video slash vlog, this is where I'm gonna explain what has been happening. To get right into the point of this video, I want to talk a little bit about credit cards and just starting how to build your credit as a student or as someone who's like 18, just got his stuff in order, you know, graduated from high school, going on to college or going on to just starting earning income. The reason why I wanted to create this video is because a follower and a subscriber messaged me about creating some sort of informational video talking about how to build your credits, how to exactly start off with a credit card because I have touched based on several credit cards that I have personally used in the past. So here is my spiel on credit cards. To really start off, I want everybody to understand that credit cards is not free money. It, it is not meant for you to have a loan on it per se. Really, credit cards are meant to help you build your credit. That is my personal opinion. How credit cards make money is if you are delaying your payments when your payments are due. There are interest rates with credit cards. That's how they essentially make money. In addition to that, they charge vendors a certain percentage whenever you use a credit card. So that's also a stream of revenue on how you know that works out. The most important factor for you as the user of a credit card to know is that credit cards have an extreme amount of interest rates. I have some credit cards pulled up on my laptop right here. And just looking at the first credit card that I see, they are charging between 13% to 22% interest rates for this particular card. This is a lot of interest. This is legitimately more interest on usually a mortgage, a car loan. So please beware whenever you are using these credit cards that you are paying the full amount each and every month before the statement is due. Remember this, pay your statement fully before it is due in order to avoid this extreme amount of interest that the companies will charge you. With that being said, credit cards are not for everybody. I think credit cards are the best litmus test for anybody who's starting to want to, you know, build credits and actually start working towards financing a home or financing a car payment, whatever it is, this is how you should be starting how to build your credit because the risk of you like burning down your credits through credit cards is pretty limited when you first start, mainly because a lot of companies, a lot of banks, a lot of companies like um, American Express, I'm not sure if they're called banks, maybe they are, financial institutions, they will limit the credit card that they issue you because they are uncertain on how well you have previously managed your income, your money that's coming in, and how your spending is actually is showing because there's no history, there's no credit report, there's no credit history. so. They limit it through just giving you a threshold of like a thousand, two thousand dollars per month, and that's all you could really spend. For practical reasons, I think most people should have a credit card because it really helps you understand and just test out how well you can manage your money. If you max out your credit card and unable to pay it each and every month in full in your statement, that shows that you don't know how to manage your money. So therefore, you shouldn't even be able to buy a car or purchase a home because those are bigger loans that you would have to take more than likely. So keep that in mind. With all this being said, I'm not a financial advisor. I am just a dude on the internet to giving my opinion because I think I manage my personal finances pretty well. With that being said, this video is meant for people who are wanting to build their credits without taking a huge ass loan, such as a car loan or a mortgage, and testing themselves to making sure they could financially manage their money through credit cards.
To start off understanding what credit cards will help you start building your credit is that you will probably end up using a secured credit card. And what this exactly means is that you will have to deposit a security deposit upfront and that will set your limit for that specific credit card. There are some companies that might charge you a certain fee in addition to the security deposit that you will need to give. And I recommend you to find a different bank or a different financial institution that will not charge you any fees for that because at the end of the day, I think that's just a ripoff. Needless to say, most of your banks will probably have a secured credit card option. You will just have to do a little bit of research for your specific company or give them a call and see what options they are. But in the case where you find out that your specific bank or financial institution that you are interested in is charging some sort of fee, I have two secured credit cards that will not charge you any sort of annual fees um, except for late fees, which is understandable. In addition to that, you will also have to give some sort of security deposit for any secured credit card. So understand that is a at least a minimum requirement money upfront. The first credit card that I'm recommending is the City Secured MasterCard. This is a very plain and simple secured credit card where the minimum deposit, the security deposit that I'm talking about, is $200. And this is actually relatively low for people who are starting to wanting to build their credit. So a $200 upfront security deposit, and that is in the case where you default on your credit card, you will just lose out that $200 because you will end up basically spending $200 of Citi's or MasterCard's money, and you are really are just losing your own money because you deposited $200. That's just a security for them. So they don't lose out on money in the case where you decide to dip out on your credit card, you'll actually lose out on the $200. What you need to understand is that whatever security deposit that you decide to give to that financial institution is the credit limit that you will have. So if you are going with the minimum with the city secured MasterCard of $200, then what you have is a $200 credit limit every single month, which is really not a lot because for me as personally, I could spend $200 worth of groceries each month really, really easily. So understand the more money that you give up front, the more credit that you will have. And inherently with how the credit score works, it's, it's weird. It's really weird and it's uh, not even worth explaining because I don't know the in intricacies of the freaking credit score, but I do know that the higher credit limits that you have in each card, the better your credit scores are. So if you are going with like the maximum amount, which I am not completely sure what the maximum amount is for some of these secure credit cards, it might be like $2,500. In essence, the larger credit you have, the better your credit score will start to reflect and be easier for you to build up. Back on track to the actual city secured MasterCard, this card does not charge any freaking annual fees that I think is a total ripoff. It doesn't charge any like weird random, I don't know, like random maintenance fees that some credit cards do. So this is a very good starter card because it allows a lot of people to have this secure credit card mainly because you don't need a credit, right? You don't have anything, credit history, you don't have anything to prove in your past that you're able to pay off certain payments. So having this card is a very good starter card and more than likely you will get approved for this card. Now for the second secured credit card that I recommend, I recommend the Discover It Secured Credit Card, mainly because it has some freaking benefits. Oh boy. That means you are saving that money every time you use this credit card. Highly recommend you get this. With the Discovered It Secured, it is practically like a normal credit card, except that you still do have to make this security deposit, which happens to also be a minimum of $200. So this is a, a very, very good starting point for people who actually want to experience what a good credit card is actually like. Because the benefits 
will give you cash back for every transaction that you make. You will earn 2% cash back on gas stations and restaurants up to $1,000 cash back each quarter. And in addition to that, every other transaction that is not a gas station transaction or a restaurant transaction, you will have a 1% cash back. This is a very, very good deal for secure credit cards. For people who are just starting to build their credit, this is a good deal because if you are in the perspective of having this cash back, you are literally getting like a 2% or 1% discount off of whatever transaction price that you are paying. This credit card is very, very good because it does not have annual fees. And also it has the same minimum deposit of $200 as the city secured credit card. This means this card is legitimately superior than, than the other card because it has that cash back benefit. And the cool thing about this is that you could keep on increasing your limit just the same way as the city one. The only difference between this is that you get cash back. And that is it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you found this video informational because I really want to help people who have very little clue or clueless, completely clueless on how to build a credit and start buying homes, uh, getting good deals on credit cards, getting good deals on car loans, etc. Because I personally don't, I wasn't able to find all this out until I was really just prodding my parents. And in addition to that, just looking online and doing a crap ton of research. And of course, you know, testing things out and just hearing word, word of mouth and stuff like that. That um, I wish this was taught in schools. I, I really wish being financially intelligent is is like a course is like a freaking i don't know a elementary school course because this is really really important this is part of life this is exactly what people have to learn outside of school which is i think it's kind of stupid but anyways enough of my rant that is all for today's video if you really enjoyed this video and you found this somewhat valuable give this video a thumbs up and I really, really would appreciate it. Not only does it help the video and this channel out, it also helps me out to understand what type of content I should be producing in the future. With that being said, I hope you guys are having a good one, staying safe, staying healthy, and I'll see you later, dude. I got some vices, they tugging on me Got a new bitch, we loving on me I told her God every day of the week Know they all watching and plotting on me Got a little buzz, I got places to be You better decide I'm running to me Find me some